let's, 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 let's learn some math. Sound good? That Sounds good. lovely. Okay, section, uh, chapter two, section two, we're talking about conditional statements. Okay, conditional statements. That's usually in the form of if some, 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 then some, some, some. All right, for example, if you wear a football jersey on Friday, then you're on the football team. Okay, that's a conditional statement. Okay, it's if something happens, well then this is going to happen, all right? Like, if you make an A in a class, then you're going to pass, okay? Let's look at an example. There are two parts to a conditional statement. One is the hypothesis, okay? That's what we're saying, well, if this happens, then the statement is the second part. It says, then this happens, okay? So our hypothesis kind of comes first. It's like, well, if these are the circumstances, then this is the result, okay? So hypothesis, statement. Right. For example, if statement might be conditional statement. If you live in BB, then you live in Arkansas. All right. Hypothesis is that we live in BB. We're saying, well, if you live in BB, it's kind of like our, our guess at setting up this thing. Then our conclusion is, well, if you live in BB, then you live in Arkansas. Okay, so we got our hypothesis and our conclusion. Okay. Next thing you know about is called truth value. Okay, obviously you know what true and false is. If something's correct, it's true, if it's not, it's false. Okay. A statement only loses its truth value if the statement is false, okay? Hypothesis, no matter if the statement is false, then it loses its truth value. The end. Okay, last thing we gotta talk about, okay? We already talked about conditional statements, which means if P, then it's Q, okay? So if this, this is a P is our hypothesis, if this is right, well then this is right, or if this happens, then this happens. So that's our conditional statement, okay? Now, you already know what negative means. It means not positive, okay? Well, negation, like when you negate something, that means you say no or put not or non. Anything that means no in front of it, okay? That's called negation, okay? So we'll use that later. I just need you to know that, okay? Now, we know our if-then statements. If something, something, then something, something. For example, if, if it's a labradoodle, Then it's a dog. Okay? That's an if-then statement. If it's a labradoodle, then it's a dog. Okay, a labradoodle is a mixture between a lab and a poodle. So obviously, it's a dog. So if it is a labradoodle, then obviously it has to be a dog. So our statement is true. Fantastic. Okay? Now, thing you need to know, converse. Converse means we switch those two. We leave the if and then where they are, we just switch the other two. So it's from Q to P. All right, P represents that section, that represents that section. So we switch it. It'll say if, I'm just switching this and this, if it's a dog, then it's a Labradoodle. Okay? So let's look at that statement. Is that true? If you have a dog, does it have to be a Labradoodle? No. It could be a boxer, a Pomeranian, a, I don't know, ugly one, I don't know, whatever. It can be any other kind of dog. Okay, it doesn't have to be a Labradoodle. So is this statement always true? No, it's not. So our converse is when we switch the hypothesis in the statement, it doesn't always have to be true. Okay, in this case, it's not. All right, next one is inverse. Okay, next word is inverse. Now, converse, we switch those two. Inverse, we leave them where they at. We just kind of stick no in front of them. We just change it around. So we say, if it's not a Labradoodle, then it's not a dog. Okay? So let's look at the statement. If it's not a Labradoodle, then it's not a dog. Well, let's think of something that's not a Labradoodle. Um, well, let's see, a bulldog. That's not a Labradoodle. Does that mean it's not a dog? No, it's still a dog. 
So that proves this wrong. Fantastic. So we know our inverse here is wrong as well. Okay, so we do converse, inverse, and last one is contrapositive. Contrapositive. Okay, that's when you do both of these things. Okay, let's see, that one was you put the, sorry, that was you put the negatives in front of it, you switch it, whatever it is. This one, we do both. We switch the hypothesis and the conclusion, and we put negatives in front of it. So it'll be negative Q, negative P. Okay, so we're going to switch those two, and we're going to stick nose. So we'll say if it's a dog, and then we switch it to the nose. So if it's not a dog, oh my bad, don't worry about that little guy. If it's not a dog, then we switch the other one, and we put the no in front of it, then it's not a labradoodle. Okay, is that a true statement? Okay, if you have a, something, an animal, and it's not a dog, can it be a labradoodle? No, it can't. Because if it ain't a dog, well, it can't be a labradoodle, because you can't mix a, you know, a lab kitty cat and a poodle giraffe, okay? It just don't happen like that, all right? So, this one is actually true, because if it's not a dog, then it's not a labradoodle, so it works, okay? So our if-then, our regular conditional statement was correct, our contrapositive was correct, but our inverse and converse happen to be wrong, okay? So you have to check each one. Sometimes they'll all be right. Sometimes none of these three will be right, okay? So you have to check each one. Now, when you think of an example, okay, when you think of, like, say, for converse, okay, we switch. If it's a dog, then it's a labradoodle. When you think of the example that proves that wrong, that is called a counter example, okay? Just like when you counter, like in a, in a battle or an argument, when you counter, that means you go back at it. That's what we're doing. It's not an example that proves it. It's an example that proves it wrong. That's called counter example. Let's think of one for this. For a converse, if it's a dog, then it's a labradoodle. All right, let's see. I can think of a, I don't know, a pit bull, okay? That's a dog, okay? But it's not a labradoodle. So that proves this wrong. So that is our counter example. All right, let's look for inverse. If it's not a labradoodle, then it's not a dog. Well, a, um, a Rottweiler, that's not a Labradoodle by any means. Does that mean it's not a dog? No. So our counterexample here would be Rottweiler. Okay? So we learned conditional statements. We learned converse, inverse, contrapositive. We talked about negation. And we also talked about counterexamples. So hopefully you're an expert and you're going to grow up, become a geometry teacher, <laughs> follow all of your dreams, and then... I don't know. It's up to you. The end. I'm gonna stop talking.